Breast cancer is showing up in younger and younger women. And the type of cancer they're getting is often more aggressive. RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer looks into the disturbing trend and the changing recommendations because of it. Well, Tana and Jenna, recommendations are changing and they may continue to change as this new population of younger women is being diagnosed with breast cancer. It's scary and it can be confusing, but experts don't want women to feel afraid. They just want them to be more aware of their own bodies and be diligent about something that takes two minutes of your time each month. I had no thought in my mind cancer. I had, like, that did not cross my mind at all. I Amy Davis was just 36 and a new mom when she found a lump in her breast. Since she was breastfeeding her daughter Isla then, she thought it was a clogged duct, but the lump got bigger. They called and said, your cells are cancerous. And of course, a lot of emotion happens when you're told that news and I called my husband, he was at work, and he was came home immediately, and we just cried. And The cancer was growing so quickly, Amy had to begin strong chemotherapy immediately, followed by surgery and radiation. I told my husband, I was like, it was like they were telling me I'm going to die in two weeks, you know. Amy is part of a growing population of young women with breast cancer. In her age group, it's harder to catch and harder to treat. There are some studies ongoing right now as far as women 35 or younger. What do we do with them? Because Dr. Juliana Meyer says mammograms aren't as effective in younger women because their breast tissue is denser. Ultrasound, even MRI, are now being used to find cancer in women under 40. And chemo and radiation are typically used to attack it instead of the hormone treatment used in older women. So far, no studies have confirmed why breast cancer is showing up in younger women, but we do know that monthly self-breast exams are still your number one defense. You know, I have some women that will say to me, oh, you know what, I just don't do it because I feel like I've just got lumps everywhere, okay? But if they would do it on a monthly basis, they will know what's normal for them. Julie Schneiders trains patients, fellow technicians, and doctors how to give clinical breast exams. The Two most common places that you'll find lumps in women, upper outer quadrant, again, this being the shoulder, okay, and the second area is right behind your nipple. That is 75% of all breast lumps. I have them make circles, so it's light, medium, deep, and then they move a finger, light, medium, deep, move a finger. She recommends yearly exams by a health care provider starting at 20. And if your doctor or GYN doesn't offer, don't be afraid to ask. Say hi. Amy is grateful she happened to be breastfeeding, believing that's the only reason she felt her tumor early. So I would say to women that are young, just to be aware of your body. Now, the best way to do your self-check is lying down. Do it right after your cycle, or if you're postmenopausal, do it on the day of your birthday each month. That's easy to remember. And finally, don't ignore any kind of change. Get it checked out. At St. Vincent, they believe so strongly in the importance of clinical breast exams that they offer them free to anyone who walks in wanting one. Important advice, Tanya. Thank you. And this week, we have a number of stories about breast cancer and how it is impacting Hoosiers. Tomorrow at 5, I'll show you some of the newest research and treatment options. Wednesday, the unwanted family tradition. And then Thursday, a surprise patient who never, ever expected to end up in a women's hospital. We hope you'll join us.